Hello! So, today, we are shooting a music video. But wait, Claire, Claire, you're like, you're telling me that you've already released the music video that you're shooting today? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. But first, So a few weeks ago, I got a postcard from Hawaii and it's just really cool to like see where all of you are watching from. Uh, a little while back, I got a letter from England as well. Um, nothing today, but hopefully more in the future. It's from Hawaii. Isn't that cool? So who is this? music video aimed at exactly um well i mean if you listen to the verse and pre-chorus you're gonna hear some pretty direct lyrics about about people on the internet who like to give their thoughts and prayers essentially it's really frustrating to me when i see people posting about a tragic event and not really following through with their actions. In a way, this tragic event sort of becomes smaller, smaller, and smaller. Because as these people start adding their worthless two cents, the weight of this tragedy becomes meaningless. Now then, don't get me wrong. Words of sympathy can be a really great thing but after a while, they become useless. So of course, this is just my opinion. You might have a different view on this whole thing because of your circles, right? You might, you might involve yourself with more politically activist-minded people, and thus you're thinking, Claire, what are you talking about? All of the people that I follow are actively involved. And that's what this song is about. It's about working to be more actively involved. So now my my hair is in its nice little running ponytail and we are going to pack up and get changed into the proper outfit and essentially after that uh, Mark's going to be here in like 30 minutes or so so we are going to we're going to get ready we're going to get ready for him but first this video is sponsored by me so it is future Claire Hey, I'll show up later. Don't worry, I'll be back. But I just wanted to interrupt and say that Alexei came up with some really cool designs this month. Hey, you can check that out right there. It is 15% off until Sunday night. So please consider purchasing our merch. All the profits from our merch sales will go directly to advertisement for this channel for the next like 365 days. So if you purchase merch, just know it's going right back into this channel not in our pockets. So anyway, uh, thank you for your support. Let's get back to this music video and I'll show up later, I promise. Here we go. Okay, so I'm thinking that we're gonna block the shots off. Okay, cool, let's do it. This is a hard shot. I gotta look back while moving at the same time and get it stable. So here we go. Did I do it? I don't know, I might've gotten it. We're gonna find out and see. Your useless thoughts to think you've done good. Watch them bury all their loved one. Useless thoughts to make you feel good. Bullets fly to kill the black one. Hide. They got random. <laughs> all right, so now that we have uh, wrapped up this location here, um, essentially, our next spot is going to be a um, construction site, but we uh, we should talk about what this shot means and why why I'm running around so much in this music video. So, uh, future Claire, can you can you take that away, please? So Ahmad Arbery was killed running around his neighborhood just as I was doing in that video, and I wanted to show what it might be like for an uh, average white woman to be running around a very ritzy neighborhood. 
the shot where Mark was waving at me was one of those things where you see in small towns where everybody waves at each other. And I was trying to show that there wasn't any like fear from me or the other person uh, who was driving by. In real life, we actually have three people come up to us and ask us what we were doing without any hesitation. One person even laughed and asked to be in the shot. Okay, so we are here at the construction site now. Now, I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to get this shot. Um, my plan was to originally get here in the late afternoon when the construction workers go home and do their thing and I was just gonna kinda like, you know, get the shot that I needed. However, it's three o'clock, they're still here. I'm gonna go and ask them if I can get it and if I can't, I might swing back later tonight and try to get that shot. All right, so they're there right now, but the gate's open, and one of the shots that I need is just sneaking into the fence real quick. She's sneaky like that. So I'm gonna actually just hop in the fence while Mark is recording me, and then hop out of the fence. I'm not sneaky. And uh, <laughs> and then run back up here. So sneaky. Sneaky. So essentially, that means I got an establishing shot. I got the sneaking in, and then out which is like the bookends. And now all I need is the meat of the shot. So that's the hard part. I gotta sneak in tonight. I gotta get like two shots, maybe three, of like showing that I'm in that location for the video that I'm referencing in the, uh, in the music video. So what video am I referencing? Well, when Ahmad's murder was being dissected by the news and social media, Essentially, there was this video that was that emerged that showed him in a construction site by CCTV just looking around. That's it. How many times have you been on a walk or a run where curiosity got the best of you and you deviated from your path a little bit? The media tried to justify this racist murder by a simple benign act of trespassing. All right, so I'm back, and in my quest for uh, for waiting for those construction people to leave, I just found this house right here. So we're gonna retake some of these shots right here. I just got everything that I needed inside. Yes. So, mind you, uh, there are a ton of people around, and I'm a white woman going into a uh, no trespassing area, and nobody's even paying attention. To Watch us. them bury all their loved ones. Type your useless thoughts. Okay, so that shot right there was the shot that Amada Aubrey made. Or he was he was moving like that when he moved out. I know you're on the phone. Oh yeah, sure. Do you mind? So, uh, do you know Ahmad Aubrey? Yes. Do you mind to be featured in a video of mine if I ask you a quick question? Oh, um, no, no, thank you. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you want, I don't know. If yeah. You I know you're fine. Thank you so much. Take care. Sure thing. Have, have Thanks. All right. So I asked that girl if she wanted to be in the video, and she said no. She didn't want to have any commentary on the thing, um, which is which is totally understandable, um, and uh, and totally impromptu. But she watched us like do that whole thing, and I wanted to ask her what she thought about me walking into this into this you know abandoned place. And the thing is, is that like, I didn't, you know, obviously show her face, but you heard her say right at the end, she was like, but if you want me to help any way I can, uh, just let me know. And, um, and she motioned towards the house that I was just walking into. And clearly it says no trespassing, nothing like that on the, on the, uh, you know, on the site itself. All right, so we are headed back home right now. On Thursday, I'm going to hit this video hard and really bring in some of that stock footage to express the point that I'm really trying to make here. Um, if you do want to check out some of our merch down below, I explained earlier, you know, that this entire channel, all the profits from this merch are going to promoting this channel. Like we are, we are purchasing ads for this channel. So please help us uh, get to 100,000 subscribers. There is merch down below and uh, I'll let future Claire take it from here. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.
Thanks, Past Claire. So please click the subscribe button. There will be many more videos like this in the future. If you would like to get a t-shirt, they are 15% off for the next three days. I, uh, I just appreciate you hanging out with me and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.